The German flamethrower or Flammenwerfer was originally invented by a German engineer, Richard Fiedler, in 1900. The flamethrower was accepted into service by the German army in 1911 and was used by specialist assault engineer units. It was capable of firing a jet of flame out to a distance of 20 yards. The flamethrower made its combat debut on 26 February 1915 when the German 3rd Guard Pioneer Regiment used them in a successful small-scale attack against French trenches near Verdun on the Western Front. They were three types of flamethrowers. The Clive or Kleiner Flammenwerfer. The Clive M1912 could deliver some appreciable effects. Although the total burn time was just 15 seconds, the jet of flame stretched out to 18 meters and beyond. However, the systems were physically fragile affairs, intolerant of the hard knocks of the frontline life. Training was also inadequate. There are few things more unnerving than a poorly trained man wielding a flamethrower. For such reasons, many of the Clive weapons were recalled from service by the OHL at the end of 1914, although some remained in use with Lion Pioneer formations. The second type was the Grove M1912 or Großer Flammenwerfer. The Grove flamethrower was a far more substantial and powerful affair manned by no fewer than five men. It had a large central fuel tank, flanked by two nitrogen propellant tanks. The whole device again feeding measured 102 by 51 centimeters, and when full it weighed 75 kilograms, but it was intended for static in place use, therefore its weight was not too much for an issue. The Wechselapparat VEX The Wechselapparat or VEX M1917 was a revolutionary new design that subsequently went on to influence the British lifebuoy design of World War II. The VEX was instantly recognizable by its donut-shaped fuel tank with the propellant gas tank set in the center. The capacity of the tank was low compared to the other models, just 11 liters giving a burn duration of 9 seconds. The other models had burn durations as high as 20 seconds. Hence it was originally intended to be carried into the field with the team carrying two other spare tanks ready to attach to the lens. This awkward arrangement did not happen in practical terms, but as a man-portable flamethrower that could be overrated by a single individual, the VEX was an important step forward. The flamethrower was not a super weapon. Its short range and the small amount of fuel a single man could carry on his back meant it had to be used sparingly. However, it possessed a psychological power to terrify enemy soldiers far in excess of these practical facts. Fear of fire, of burning to death, was an ancient one, and one not easily controlled by the Allied soldiers who had to face this new nightmarish German weapon. The German flamethrowers were also used by Astro Hungarian, Bulgarian, and Turkish forces. Flamethrowers aren't still used in the modern war since the Convention of Geneva has forbidden it in 1980.